Guillotine, guillotine, guillotine. God tier guillotine. Is it a thing? Sort of. Okay. A lot of the times, as a lot of you know, synergies make up the champion. They can make any kind of bland champion bit god tier because there's interaction, there's something in particular. On this channel, we've done it many times. We've covered this particular one here, which is uh, incredible damage. This this is one of the videos. There was another one, which was uh, Goddess Synergy Updated. And I think this is another one of mine as well, which is Goddess Just Got More Godlier with Ronin. So I'm no stranger to doing a video about Guillotine. And I know that there have been many people reached out and said, Rich, you're going to do a purgatory kind of implementation. And this is that video. I thought it was important to do a video because look, the champion is about to be released. Purgatory is about to be released. It's a pretty good champion. It's not something really for me, but there is a cool synergy that I just wanted to kind of do a video on, and especially because, well, I've done so many of them, I might as well continue on. So first of all, to kind of mention the team that I'm using in the synergy is all about the bleed side of things. And why is that so important? Well, purgatory synergy with guillotine, or what guillotine gets as a result, is very, very important. So bleed triggered by critical hits have a chance to be critical bleeds, depending on critical chance, Critical Bleeds multiply their damage by Guillotine's Critical Damage Multiplier. Essentially, you can look to do things where you implement stuff with Improving Critical Rating. And um, yes, Critical Damage, but I think it's like, it's up to you whether you want to apply it that way. The difference with what I'm creating is more the soul side of things, because by throwing an SP3, you're able to do an extensive amount of damage. The more souls that you have collected, the more damage you're going to do. The Champion is just like, this is really cool, really good uh, interaction here. So the other synergies are Morning Star, which is soul charges take 10 seconds longer to expire. This means, as I said, the narrative is that I'm pushing to SP3s, so I'm building souls, trying to keep them on longer by by the means of having the Morning Star synergy in place. Gamora is that uh, there is a 50% chance when striking a bleeding opponent to gain a soul charge. So we're building souls, we're keeping them on longer, we then do SP3s, we do more damage, and as well the critical bleeds. And the other element to it is that each soul grants an additional 100 critical rating. This is what gives your SP3 the potency that as soon as you build up those souls, by the means we said, they're kept on longer by the Morning Star Synergy, and then you're slapping a load of damage. This extra added element with having Purgatory is all about meaning that a critical bleed is giving that extra bit of kind of bringing the champion down quicker. This is why you're going to see a lower amount of hits in order to do the damage. Now, something to mention is that everything is down to RNG, sadly. An RNG in that you are going to be either getting yourself the crits to get the bleeds. Yes, there is a synergy that improves that, but at the same time, this is all based on luck. So don't think that, hey, 41 hits with a rank 3 6 star is definitely going to be a sustainable thing. It's not. But look, you know, it's all about trying out these things. It's all about experimenting, expedition, and uh, exhibition and stuff like that so we're going to use a five star i'm going to react and kind of like showcase the five star footage and then we're going to play the six star footage and then come back with the final thoughts and here we go look first of all we're doing the winter soldier fight because this is more easy the problem is it's where i see this content going it's like if, if you're doing this champion against certain content it may be specific uh, because there's no guaranteed bleeds it's all based on chance and in another case it's trying to find the ideal usage it's like variants, I think, will probably be like one of the most ideal options for it. But apart from that, there's nothing really going for it. Critical bleeds. Look at that. Look at all those bleeds right there. That's an insane amount of consistent bleeds. Even with this five star at uh, signature 200, you're seeing like some really nice amounts of damage. Now, you might be wondering, well, what's my next play? My next play is to boost up the extent of souls that I've got. You can see them there. They're not falling off that quickly. We build up to 12 souls very quickly. And then it's a case of trying to build up to the SP3 quickly to then throw it. I'd say anything between about 15 to 18. Main, mainly 18 will probably take about 50% health off. So you're probably going to see at the end of this that the champion is still alive. Which, there we go, is definitely still alive. So I should have done 18 to 20 uh, souls and then throw the SP3. But still, this is good to showcase critical bleeds which if we're seeing like 1,800, this is with the, uh, what is it called? The the deep wounds, that's it, deep wounds, I think they're deep wounds 
and and non suicides because I think that's important as well to show it in this circumstance because I reckon suicide mastery based damage may be different and better. 72 hits down the wind soldier and then doing a little bit of gameplay against Captain Marvel classic because this is all about class advantage and the extent of damage that you can see. So 2000 per tick for the bleeds. Now there are some other bleed effects going on. The, I'm talking about the critical bleeds here. 2k. That's a pretty meaty. That's a pretty meaty amount of critical bleeds. I mean, what, we've got 3.5k there. Jesus, man, this is good stuff. Right, this is good stuff. Maybe my rotations aren't like on point, but still, like, and I'm I'm rotating around SP ones because I'm just trying to like get the champion down a bit. And at this point, maybe been better like instead of throwing the SP one, it's to build up the SP three, slam it in. But again, like you just look at the was that three thousand eight hundred I thought I saw per critical bleed tick. That's some nice critical bleed damage, everybody. Absolutely sublime, just to kind of like see this in action. And yeah, just finishing off there. So this is when the fights get tasty. So this is the this is when things go well, and critical bleeds are more commonly hitting up on the enemy. Because that's the thing, as I said, it's RNG. Sometimes you can be just fighting normally and you'll find like, oh, I'm not getting any critical bleeds. Even worse, because this, this would not be a good option against anything that's a robot, immune, bleed immune. It just wouldn't work out. Souls wise, again, hard to, hard to say, but look at this. So this is all about building up as quickly as possible to that SP3 and slamming in as much damage. Collected 12 souls thus far. And again, it's all about the build, critical bleed, man, just look at that critical bleed. Look at all that, all that bleed damage there. Non-critical and critical bleed just meshing together to like absolutely just smack the enemy. I think that's 16 souls there, 55 hits thus far, going into that SP3. That critical rating improvement from Night Thrasher being in the team is going to give us... Oh, right, okay, so that's like a nearly 30% drop there. Again, it should have been a case of 18 to 20 souls is enough to take down, uh, what's it, like 500k hit points, maybe like 250k hit points. So that's what I should have done there. And just wait out for the, for the bleed damage, 68 hits, nice. So what I decided to do is rank up a six star to rank three, 200 signature, and see what's occurring with that. Again, this is all based on RNG and things going either well or not well. Very quickly, a very nice amount of critical bleed doing a 2.2k uh, per tick which is just really, really nice. And again, we're just like, we're, we're quick building on this one. We're quick building now. Oh, it's nice, 2.3K per tick. And there's a lot of ticks right there, especially because I'm building up to that SP3 so quickly. Uh, I've got like 12, 13 souls, 14, 15 souls built really quickly, 16, 17. Jesus, man, 17 here. Health is down really quickly, one hit. Uh, this, this is why the SP3 is so meaty and so nice because it just does this massive hit where we're just going to go boom and the job is done at 41 hits with a rank 3 awakened 200 signature non-suicide version of guillotine incredibly fun yeah I think the thing to really say about, say about this was it's incredible to see this uh, what, what guillotine can do especially as a rank 3 6 star and especially with this synergy it is not by any stretch of the imagination a, a a great setup for doing every single bit of content there will be some examples where this will be good variants for example that could be great especially if you're thinking of doing i think it's either i think it's variant five uh, and as well like maybe having a team that could interwork around maybe variant six if providing you're not going to be using gear team for any kind of interaction because of hashtag villains i think that's like, i think that's it um or even even using in some kind of like examples of uh variant seven you know so, so it could be used in variant five i think it's variant five as well it can be used so there are some like really kind of like cool examples of usage but it's not going to be sustainable for every piece of content like i don't think you can do this in abyss uh, particularly well i don't think that i mean it could be an option for something like the uh, grandmaster gauntlets although i'm not sure if, if a power control option would be kind of good it's definitely worth a go and interesting to kind of you know figure out if that works but maybe some other content like act seven sort of some sometimes yes i can see that working but not all the time you can't say that this will work for every single piece of content so it's not diverse of coverage the same way that your like dr dooms nick furies and various other champions that may have slight synergies could be of of great usage 
But for seeing some great potential with damage output, rotations and stuff from a very low effort and the amount of regen, the amount of bleed damage, critical bleed, the amount of SP3 damage that can be executed is just fantastic. So this was great to see. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this little showcase. Make sure to check out some other content posted up there and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.